Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, the fertility expert, and welcome back to Fertility TV. In this episode, we're going to be talking about three things that you can do to improve your egg quality. So if that's something you want to change or improve, then stay tuned. I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, the fertility expert, and I work with couples from all over the world, helping them get pregnant naturally and locally here in San Diego to help them if they come into one of my clinics. If you're trying to get pregnant, subscribe and hit the bell so I can help you too. You know, in a previous uh, video, I have discussed egg quality, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna focus in on three things that you can do to really improve egg quality. And it's not just about diet. The first one, it's po possibly the most important thing that you're gonna do, not only for egg quality, but for health. Think about it. Can you guess? Hopefully you did. It's sleep. So for all of you out there who are night owls, um, work the night shift and sleep during the day, who throw off your circadian rhythms, whatever it might be, you've never slept. I've heard everything under the sun when it comes to sleep. I don't sleep a lot. I function awesome in five hours of sleep. You know, whatever it is, that's just not okay. If you think about what it was like, or if you ask your parents what it was like for you to sleep when you were younger, the reality was is that they tried to get you like 12 hours of sleep. And as you age, that shortened, um, you know, 11, 10, whatever it might be. Um, and we've become accustomed to sleeping less. So our bodies are used to it and you might be able to function, but you're probably not thriving and that doesn't make it okay. So the ideal length of time to sleep is eight hours. Additionally, um, it's not just about getting eight hours of sleep, it's about also when you get those eight hours of sleep. Our bodies are preconditioned to go to sleep and start to wind down when the sun goes down. So as the seasons change and the year progresses, we're gonna potentially need to go to sleep a little bit earlier or a little bit later. You know, they say that in the winter time we wanna hibernate, we wanna sleep more. That's very normal because we're going with the regular, you know, um, progression of the sun. So the sun goes down earlier, we can go to sleep earlier in the summertime. We, the sun goes down much later, we can stay up later and maybe sleep a tad less um, or just get the same amount of hours of sleep just at different time frames. So in general, we're looking for eight hours of sleep. If we're gonna be a little bit lenient, then seven. And um, ideally you're doing that from somewhere between nine and 10 o'clock at night um, was when you should be going to sleep on the late end of that should be no later than 11. Um, but ideally you're getting in bed 9, 30, 10 o'clock and starting to wind down and hopefully falling asleep. So get your sleep, it's super uber important. Number two, remove sugar. So I haven't really talked about this a lot. I've talked about nutrition as a whole and how to improve your nutrition, but sugar is a key one that we need to adjust. Um, I don't think about it much because it's something that I try to avoid just naturally in my diet and so I, I take it for granted a little bit. But in general, we tend to consume way too much sugar and way too much processed sugar. So make it a goal to reduce your sugar intake in all forms except for maybe those that are natural and even then try to minim minimize your, your fruit intake. Too much sugar in the body can create increase inflammation. Inflammation disrupts all sorts of issues um, or causes all sorts of issues, disrupts function and uh, can absolutely disrupt ovarian function, health and egg quality. So drop the sugar. And number three, stop trying to accomplish too much. We as a society, it's all about what have we done? What have we accomplished? Have we reached our goals? Whatever it might be. It's not to say we shouldn't have goals. Those are totally fine. But I want you to just simmer down on it, okay? Take it down a notch. Your goal should really be to, hey, I don't wanna do too much today. Like today, it's a, it's a beautiful rainy day here in San Diego, which doesn't happen often. Um, and I love it for two reasons. One is we need the water. And, and two, it, it naturally causes us to slow down. It might allow you to just grab a cup of tea, uh, maybe a cup of bone broth, pick up a book and just chill out for a little bit. We all need that downtime and it gives our mind a break to not try to accomplish too much. So those are your three goals. Get more sleep, reduce your sugar and try not to accomplish too much. This is about taking baby steps, okay? Um, you need to build up 
I have another video called The Little Things. It's about accomplishing the little things to get your bigger goal. This is the same thing. Take baby steps to accomplish these things. This can take a little bit of time. You didn't get to the place you are um, overnight. It took years. So give yourself a little bit of space, space excuse me, to accomplish the goals you want to accomplish and take baby steps to get there. If you found this video helpful, here are three things you can do. First, like my video and leave a comment letting me know how long you've been trying to get pregnant and what questions you have about your fertility. Two, subscribe to Fertility TV for the best tips on how to get pregnant now. And number three, download the Fertility Wheel to find out what's not letting you get pregnant. I want your first or your next IVF cycle to be successful. And research shows that women who are in support groups get better results during their IVF cycles. So check out my IVF support group and coaching program.